that they don't have the van that we'd ordered. Quick sneak preview of the kitchen. Things aren't fitting. That doesn't sound good. Honestly guys, this spot on my head is getting bigger. Guess who's back, 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 back again. I said I wasn't gonna vlog during mum's birthday. She went, what, it's my birthday. But it's like a little trip down memory lane at the same time. We got Beyonce tickets. Everybody, everybody, you won't break my soul. And the rail has fallen out of the wall. Our first night being in it is gonna be after two years. I'm literally like obsessed with the whole house. We all are. Like when we walk around, everything is groin height. Yeah. Is it 3D or 4D scan? It's like, whoa, that's a pair of bollocks. Hi. Hi. <laughs> It is officially the first day of the week of moving. So I thought I'd do a whole moving vlog rather than like doing one split over a few different vlogs, just do one moving vlog. I'm holding my camera low because I'm currently in a like van dealership, like rental dealership thing. Van rental, garage, that, you know what I mean. I'm in one of them. And I'm just waiting to pick up a big van basically to get all of our stuff from the house to the other house. They called yesterday and basically said that they don't have the van that we'd ordered. So they said they'd try and sort it overnight. So let's see if that's been fixed. So we've made it to the house. Quick sneak preview of the kitchen. Oh, that was really quick. We are just about to unload the van now. So I'm not really sure how we thought this was gonna be a good idea, but. We're slowly moving in and we're slowly coming to realise that actually things aren't fitting. That doesn't sound good. Things aren't fitting where they're meant to be fitting. So our upstairs spare bedroom was basically all the furniture from like our existing bedroom back at home, our old home. But yeah, we basically went to go and put all the furniture in and it doesn't fit. Which is great. We're now assembling Hugo's furniture, which we got from Obaby. I'm hoping that that's all going to fit in his room. I just, I'm not very good at measuring guys. I'm really not stressed. We were carrying all the furniture up the stairs. Obviously it's all freshly painted and it's new and it's nice and we don't want to get anything dirty. And we've hit a couple walls, scuffed them. I'm going to have to paint them or fill them or whatever. It's just, it's a lot. It's, it's stressful. I fainted on the stairs, so that happened. Yeah, just not. Just not ideal, not the, not the vibe. Running up and down the stairs with like the drawers for the, for the chest of drawers or whatever, um, and did it too fast, too quick, got really dizzy, fainted and scratched one of the walls. And then we were actually carrying the actual unit, like the, like the chest of drawer unit, not just the drawers. We were carrying that up the stairs and hit the wall a couple of times. It's just hard when you've got a like swerved, like curved staircase, do you know what I mean? But it is what it is. We will fill it, we will make it look nice again. It's, we've, we've really picked a hot day to move and I am sweating. It's awful. Also, I had a massive spot here so I've had to put a plaster on it to stop picking it. Honestly guys, this spot on my head is getting bigger. It's ridiculous. I've just had to put Sudacream on it because it literally is like, it, it's like an open sore at this point. It's disgusting. It's one of the worst ones I've had in a really long time and I'm really upset about it. I think it's the stress. Anyway, we got the majority of the stuff done. Obviously we have the issue with the bed not fitting in the spare bedroom properly. So we think we're gonna have to swap that bed out at some point, which we will do, but just not right now. And it's not like an essential for right now, but we will have to do it. We have assembled most of Hugo's furniture. We just now actually have to go and assemble his like wardrobe. And then his room is done furniture wise. We just need to like make it look pretty. And then we need to assemble our bed and our bedside tables and all that need to arrive as well. We're getting there though. We are getting there. Anyway, we're about to have a barbecue with family. It's my mum's birthday tomorrow. So I'm gonna switch off for a little bit. Try not to think about the house. And I'm gonna have a quick shower before I touch anyone because I'm covered in dust and dirt. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again. Again, Reese is back, back, back with Zal and Key. This is the last time I'm going to apologise for this spot on my head throughout this moving vlog, okay? It's part of me now, it has helped me on the move, we're just rolling with it. 
anyway, today we're assembling the rest of the furniture, basically, so that tomorrow we can just go, 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 go. So straight into it. Got our bed from dusk. Getting that ready, aren't we? Oh yeah. This is pretty much the reality of us moving. Uh, Reese on the floor doing the work and me vlogging. I actually feel like we need this space already. Well, we've outgrown the house already, Reese, and we've, we've only had it two years. We've not yeah. even lived in it yet. Just to be fair, when we actually brought the house, it was just me and you. We did, Hugo wasn't even around. Yeah. We didn't have a he second was, one was, on the he way. He was a twinkle in the eye, wasn't he? <laughs> we've made it to lunch for Granny Jo's birthday. Good. She's got her entertainment. Have you had a nice birthday so far? Perfect. I said I wasn't going to vlog during Mum's birthday, and she went, "What? It's my birthday!" Go so, on, got a vlog. So, happy birthday, Mum! Thank you. I'm getting um, cuggles from everyone today. Are. Cuggles. Hugo keeps asking for a cuggle, so Granny is loving it. Anyway, we're going to go in and have some lunch now, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Just found a little, uh, a little note that I left you from that first met. It was, I think it was like, it's so cheesy, but I literally left it underneath your bed, like or on top of your bed when we were like going back and forth and from Kent to Hertfordshire. And uh, it says, thank you for everything. The past week has been an amazing week. I won't forget. Hurry up Friday. Love you loads. What do you think we did that week with Fernando's? <laughs> Probably just, oh. I swear you were quite, you were quite cute, but in the moment when you're with someone that you love, you kind of like, the littlest things mean so much, don't they? Yeah, 100%. On our first day, I think we literally, when I came up to you for the first time, we just went to, I know, on the way home, when you were driving your panda, we... You took Listen, to, rate the panda, the yeah, panda was oh, lit. the panda was amazing. We went to the, it was like a milkshake place that we went to. Oh yeah, that was I good. I remember thinking, oh my God, like how cute we're going to a milkshake place. Like, I'd never done that before. I love that milkshake place, it was so good. Um, Probably just had a really cute week, didn't we? Yeah, I think that's when was that for New York? Yeah. I think that's when I was planning the this? proposal. Do you want these socks? No, thank you. I think that was when I was planning the proposal. I literally was writing down like we went to New York. We propo I proposed like before New York in the end, but I was going to propose in New York, but basically we went to New York and I was writing down when I was in a hotel just before Christmas. I was writing down like all the costs of stuff of like how much flights were and how much hotels were and because obviously I was like 19, I was paying for us to go to New York together, like, do you know what I mean? I had to be really and smart with my money. We stayed in the Waldorf Astoria we did. in New York. We stayed in the Waldorf Astoria for four nights and we flew to New York and back. And Kim and Kanye were staying in the room above us. Yeah, with North. Yeah. Guys, if you want to go to New York, but you want like cheap flights and cheap accommodation, book it on Christmas Eve. Like don't book the actual trip on Christmas Eve, but on Christmas Eve, the amount of deals you get online are a joke because I think everyone's paid for everything. So then like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like you've got, like not many people have loads of money left over. So yeah, book it then. But also we're basically going through all of the stuff that's like in the loft and all that sort of stuff because tomorrow is the last day with the big van to move things so we're just decluttering going through everything but it's like a little trip down memory lane at the same time which is really cute okay it really is what's On that hot but stormy day you i just know by the end of this vlog we are going to be drained like i'm so tired <sighs> i feel like i could sleep for a year there's honestly so much like just going around in my head of what we need to do, what we need to sort, what we need to pack, how long we've got, all of it. Mum's earning our key. So we're almost there. Reese is just doing the final mop before the builders are probably back tomorrow. We've got the landscaper coming tomorrow to do the fencing and the grass. And that's it really, isn't it? No, I'm glad the plug. Unplug the plug, yes sir. So yeah, we're getting there. Upstairs is still very much a work in progress, but we're gonna sort that this week, probably Thursday and Friday, so that we're ready to move in for Friday. It's getting there. We are getting there. Oh, Reese, I forgot to put the cushions out. I forgot to put, no, I mean, I forgot to put the cushions away. Do you think it's gonna rain tonight? 
Can I leave them out? Yeah. Do you think the glass is alright there as well, left, left against the fence? I'll put a chair in front of it in case wind blows. Or should I lie that flat? Oh, no, I think you'd be better off up. Up, like that? It's easy to see it. Yeah, okay, cool. So we are off to go and relieve my grandma and my sister of Hugo Daycare. It's probably them now, actually, to be honest. It's, I think it's bath time. But they have been a massive help today, so we can all just crack on and not have to worry about little toes and little fingers putting their things in places they shouldn't be. A few little bits and bobs to get, because obviously we've looked at what we've done so far, and there's just bits and bobs to tick off that we need to get sorted. But we will get there. You excited, Reese? What, because you're mopping or because of the house? He's in there. He loves a mop. He loves a mop, this kid. I don't know if I told you, but we got Beyonce tickets. I don't know if the hat was a giveaway, but we got Beyonce tickets. So Reese and I are about to go to Beyonce. It's almost five o'clock. The gates are about to open for the concert. We've got standing tickets. Reese didn't finish until five. I mean, she's not on till 8.15, so it's not a necessity to get there that early. So we're just gonna have a mooch about. We're gonna chill. It's not the end of the world if we're not right at the front, because we've done the beehive package before. We've been like in the pit, like we've been in the pit. She touched Reese's hand. Do you know what I mean? So that's absolutely fine. I'm not fussed about missing that. We just want to dance around and have a good time before our four year wedding anniversary tomorrow. I'm not going to take my camera with me, but I'll vlog bits on like my phone because I'm not risking my camera being. You excited to see Beyonce? Can you actually cope? I just started hanging all of the stuff on the wardrobe and the rail has fallen out of the wall. It's not even like we've got too many, like we do have too many clothes, don't get me wrong, but it's not like we've got too many clothes for the weight of the rail, like the rail we had before withstood the clothes that we had and I haven't even got all of them on there. So a builder's coming around now to come and try and fix it and hopefully rectify the damage I've done. I don't see us being in by tomorrow. Praise be, the builder has fixed the rail. Everything is on there now. All of our clothes actually fit in this one wardrobe. I mean, it's a massive wardrobe, don't get me wrong, it's the whole size of the room, but all of our clothes fit in that wardrobe. So I'm really, really happy because we actually got two wardrobes fitted, like fitted wardrobes. So we've got a whole other room that is just free. So I'm not really sure what we've put in that. Maybe I buy more clothes? So as you can see down here, the fencing has started today. Fencing will be finished tomorrow. And then this little patch here is going to be full of brand new, fresh, beautiful turf. Like, I'm just so excited for what our garden's going to look like. So, so, so excited. Okay, so we've just got back from Wilco's. We went and did a big shop in Sainsbury's as well. Usually we would probably do it in Tesco's because Sainsbury's is reasonably expensive. But Sainsbury's was all we had in the quickest amount of time that we had. We went to Wilco's, then went to Sainsbury's, done the shop, absolutely fine. Basically, in Wilco, what I got were these. They're like A4 frames. I thought they'd look perfect in Hugo's room because his room is gorge, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, it's gorge. But it's feeling very beige. So we've got some prints that we're gonna hang up on the walls and like break the wall up a bit. So yeah, that's what we got. 
We ordered bedding from Dusk. Ignore the bedside tables that are actually the boxes for our bedside lamps because our bedside tables haven't arrived yet. We ordered our bedding from Dusk and I didn't realise that the pillowcases came in pairs, so I bought four. Four pairs, so we have eight pillowcases. So I now need to return four pillowcases. But apart from that, we are done for the day. Reese has gone to go and get a haircut and myself and my mum are off to go and pick up Hugo from nursery. We've got a lot done today because Hugo's been at nursery. So we've just got the final bits to do tomorrow before moving in day, which is tomorrow. So first night in the house tomorrow, which is mad, but considering we've had this house for like two years now, our first night being in it is gonna be after two years. <sighs> Quite excited though. I really like that view we've got from our bed. Look at that, that's so peaceful. That bird there was a paid actor. Guys, it is moving day. We are finally in the house. We're gonna spend our first night here. The garden is all done and it looks beautiful. Like, so, so, so pleased and so happy with it. I'm literally like obsessed with the whole house. We all are, like, it's just great. I'm obviously gonna have to do like a proper, like in depth of sort of like what the house is like and all that sort of stuff. Um, but we're just gonna enjoy our first night here and I'll catch up with you guys this weekend. Moving obviously hasn't been without its stresses, don't get me wrong. I honestly thought I'd be able to vlog more throughout this process, but genuinely it's just been, it's been one of those, it really has. Drained and exhausted is probably how I'm feeling right now, but also really excited and happy that we're just finally in and just ready to make some lovely, lovely memories here. So Reese, how was your first night in the house? First night? Mm -hmm. It was lovely. We've woken up with um, ridiculous hay fever. Oh, so so it's really, it's not going well for us. It's, it's really lovely. It's so nice. Obviously we just need to get blinds um, because I didn't realize that you so literally could see in the whole house. When we walk around, everything is Groin height. Yeah. So when you, you can see everything. Yeah, when you're jumping out of the shower and then you think like, oh, I'm just gonna quickly run into that room and get my pants. No, you're not. I mean, you can run into that room and get your pants, but they're gonna see the lot. So um, yeah, we need blinds. Sort of that. Yeah, but apart from that, Hugo's been sleeping really well here. It's just been, it's, it's good so far, touch wood. We've got Charlotte coming over today with Harry and their daughter, Callie because we are 30 weeks pregnant today. Which is mad. Crazy, like literally mental. So we're going to go for like a 3D, is it 3D or 4D scan? Because I feel like 4D is when you're in the cinema and they like spit water at you and I hope the baby's not gonna <laughs> yeah, be doing that, right? 3D. We're gonna go for a 3D scan today. 30 week 3D scan. We did it when we were pregnant with Hugo and when he was born, he looked identical to the little lasagna picture of him that was obviously in our other surrogate's belly. Yeah, I'm just so excited to see what this baby looks like. Cause like you picture it in your head what the baby's gonna look like, but you don't actually know. So we're going back to the same place that we went with Hugo for that 30 week scan. And yeah, just super excited. Just gonna be really lovely. And I just can't wait to sort of picture what that baby's actually gonna look like. Yeah. Hopefully we won't see a todger or a nunny anywhere because we still obviously don't want to know the sex of the baby, but if we do, we do, and it is what it is. But hopefully they don't just start scanning and all of a sudden it's like, whoa, that's a pair of bollocks. Got big feet like you go as well, like golf balls. Yeah, hold well, on, growing a fatty. Shut up, it's got to come out of me, yeah? <laughs> so it's head down, that kind of explains the pain I've been having constantly. Try and do the prod again. Yes, about to say yes, having a wiggle. It's a great view, Shah. <laughs> Gonna have to see that view again in about two months. I mean, poor you. I feel for you. Bye bye. So I'm gonna put the chins away. Chins. Can't even see your chins over that belly. Are you coming back to say hello to your little brother or sister? Here he comes. Who's in there? Who's in there? So as you can see, we're still very much in a bit of a muddle. What we've got quite a lot done, it's just a lot of boxes. Your yeah. mum, we got rid of a lot of stuff and then your mum today brought around more boxes. Yeah. So we've got a lot more. 
There's a lot of sorting to do still. We still don't have a sofa. We are still very much living yeah. on camp chairs. We're getting there slowly. We had a lovely day today though with Shah and her family. And it was so lovely seeing like the baby's face. Yes, we went through a 3D scan yeah. and you could see the little one's face. It was so weird because they looked so much like Hugo. Like, um, it's mainly the golf ball cheeks, if I'm honest. Yeah, they were like this, like yeah. unreal. They said if um, Shah ends up going full term, they predict it's going to be about eight and a half, if not more. Like it's going to weigh eight, 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 eight pounds. pounds. Yeah, like it's going to weigh like eight pounds, mm. or eight and a half pounds, if not more. So that's exciting. Not for her. But no. love a chunky baby. Is it Wheelie Bean Day tomorrow? Then? Oh, well, it is. What one they're putting out? Basically, moving to a new place. You don't know what oh. day is Wheelie Bean Day. It is Black Bin. Black Bin? It's a waste bin. Okay, cool. That's good because ours is really full. Is everyone doing it? Yeah, everyone's got their black bins out. Everyone's got their black bins out. Oh, black Bin Day tomorrow, guys. So, yeah, the scan went really, really well. The baby was a little bit of a. What was it? A little bit stubborn. Literally had their hand like this the majority of the time, or were sucking their thumb. A lot of people say that being a thumb sucker is the sign of being a girl. Really? Yeah. I feel like these are just old wives' tales though. There's right? loads of old wives' tales. Basically, I'm still adamant we're having a boy, I think. Reese is still adamant we're having a girl. Oh, so, true girl. There were parts of me during that scan though where I was like, that's a girl's face. But then also, I said that about Hugo's scan. Did you? Yeah, to be fair, all the way through, we keep it safe, yeah. Yeah, so, who knows. Anyway, yeah, sorry about the chaotic vlog this week. That's bloody rude, isn't it? Oh, I can't know, I <laughs> Yeah, sorry about the chaotic vlog this week. Um, a lot's gone on. It's been a very busy week. But it was really nice to have, like, Charlotte and her family here as, like, yeah. our first guests yeah. in the house. Yeah. Reese has basically just opened his, his like Dorito dip. Um, so I guess that's the end of the vlog. He'll be chipping and dipping from now on. And no one wants to listen to that. So we'll catch you soon. Speak to you later. Hope you enjoyed the moving vlog. I'm quite proud of us. We haven't, we didn't get divorced this week. Not this week. We were close. We could, we could. There were moments, don't get me wrong. I didn't think it was as bad as we thought actually. No. I think you you actually clashed with other people more than you clashed with me. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, bye. bye.